everyone's comfortable with their spots, um, I'm going to ask someone from the, who's very far in the US, um, a volunteer, to explain why you put yourself there. So would someone from the US cluster ex like to explain why they put themselves there? We're in Germany here. I grew up in Germany. I was born here. And well, I speak the language, and I feel at home in this country. I didn't really know where to put myself because I'm not German, I'm British, but I'm not English. So I have a migration background myself, but obviously I'm European. That's how I would identify myself. So in some ways I am part of the us, part of that kind of society, but at the same time I have Turkish roots and also Greek roots. So maybe that can be perceived in a different way as well. I've also placed myself quite close to the us because I have a German passport. I was born in Germany. I my, both my parents are German and I, I partly grew up in Germany, but I haven't actually lived here for the last 17 years, so more than half my life until very recently. I'm half French, so I remember as a child I actually saw myself or li liked to see myself more as French, I guess because it's my mother's side. And I noticed that at some point that shifted and I just admitted that I thought, well, actually culturally I'm probably far more German than I like to be myself. <laughs> I'm not a German citizen, and I only lived here in small intervals, but I don't speak German with an accent. So it will usually take about an hour of a conversation before somebody might recognize that it's not a dialect, um, it's actually a foreign accent or, or a lack of proficiency. Um, but I'm also part of the younger generation, part of an international community of students who, by the fact that we are younger and um, undertaking studies in German, are more welcomed into the German community, I think, than people who come under less fortunate circumstances. So it's much easier to be, because of privilege, grouped under the us. Basically, when I first came to Germany, uh, for me, I would stand behind the M. But it's about how do you perceive things. It's about how do you uh, deal with things. And it depends on the people you meet. It depends on the bubble you're in. And how do you, like, how do you put yourself with meeting different kinds of people? You can meet people that will make you feel that you're there. And you can meet people that will make you feel that you're among the society. There's always a them and us. I don't know, I don't like it. It's too much like that. But that's the reality sometimes, which is sad. But I hope that one day we can manage to put something like all of us in the middle. But yeah, in the end, I'm them. I'm from Syria and I'm a refugee here. I do pass as German. I speak German very well. I'm, I'm told that I look kind of German. I don't think I will ever be able to become a citizen and I think about things in the future of who will be responsible for me and consider me a part of the us when I get old or if I can't work anymore and um, that would be the United States where I know you know I could go back and the state is obligated to consider me a part of the us and in Germany I always have to kind of prove myself. I live in uh, Neukölln on Sonnale which is a place where a lot of um, like different Arab stores are and um, Syrian, Levantine of all shades and um, bakeries and grocery stores. And a lot of people come there in order to go shopping and, and eat meals and whatever. And the person who came to our house to fix our electricity, he, um, he assumed that my husband and I were both um, part of what he thought of as us. So he, he asked both of us, he said, doesn't it make you uncomfortable to live on Zannale? Isn't this the worst place in Berlin? Every time I come here, I just can't believe how horrible it is, how crowded. I feel threatened. I feel, uh, yeah, I feel like, like I'm in danger. Don't you feel like that too? And the fact that he assumed that I was in the same us category as he was because I'm white, I guess, and because he, he thought that my German husband most likely had the same opinion that he did. Um, that, that made me really uncomfortable and reminded me also of, um, yeah, the, the responsibility that I have as somebody who is privileged enough to uh, look white and reflect people's ideas of Germanness being whiteness, um, and the responsibility I have in that situation to counter his assumption about me, which I tried to do, and it made me very nervous and uncomfortable. Recently, I hear a lot of bad opinions about Germans. 
I'm feeling now a bit like they're speaking about me as well because now it's for me I feel that I'm us but I'm still them but as I just explained in the beginning you know there's always this hard thing to explain where where you where you belong but for me as if I would speak about Berlin Berlin is my home it's the place where even Germans flee from Germans to come here and to be accepted somehow so it wouldn't be fair to stereotype everyone because Things change by time. 40, 50 years ago, there was a lot of Turkish people. There was a lot of people from, there was refugees from all over the world. And for sure, the first time, the first year, the first while they were there, they were not accepted or they were not feeling us because they're basically, they don't know how the culture works, how does the people think. But after many years, they're, they're part of the community. They're us just as me and everyone else. That's what I believe. So I'm getting closer to us. <laughs> First, you, people want to know where you're from, maybe the first thing before they ask your name. So it's quite sometimes important that people have a category so it's easier for them to group you in their own head. Um, and at the same time, I had the feeling also of being a little bit them because sometimes I find myself being with us but explaining who them are and then not quite... Uh, finding myself feeling comfortable with people who do not see other people as us. I'm standing, actually stood here quite far to the us side because I'm German basically and I think people do perceive me as German. Um, but then you said in the question also belonging to the society you live in and I feel sometimes I, even if I've feel German, I feel I don't belong for other reasons. The concept of us and them is incredibly binary and that a lot of people won't be able to relate to such binary ways of thinking because obviously for each of us we're very complex beings and sometimes I feel like it's difficult for others to understand that each individual is as complex as themselves so even trying to put yourself in one of these distinctions is really difficult. Mm -hmm.